Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Supernatural Eats. This time I am doing puff pastry appetizers with no crab. And it's going to be from the season three episode, Red Sky at Dawn, where they are at that museum party and Bella and Dean are dancing and she faints and the waiter comes by with the appetizers and he says, is there crab in this? And he pops one in his mouth. So the only thing we know is that they are puff pastry looking appetizers with no crab. So I just searched the internet for puff pastry appetizers and I found two that didn't have crab. The one is spinach and it also has chicken and cheeses in it and the other is a uh, potato with crispy onions and it said you can add things so I, I probably am gonna add some cheese to it. So I have my four sheets of puff pastry falling over here. They both had the oven heating at 400 degrees, which I've done, and then they both cook for 20 to 25 minutes. So we're just gonna kinda try and make them both and then cook them at the same time. So let's get started. So the potato one you need, now the recipe that I found calls for two cups of instant mashed potatoes. I made regular mashed potatoes, so it could be a great use of leftover mashed potatoes. Uh, I went with the real mashed potatoes instead of instant just because if you're trying to be healthier, you want to eat more whole foods. So all that's in here are I uh, used red potatoes and I kept the skin on mine because I just, I like that. A uh, little bit of butter and I used some non-fat yogurt to uh, mash them up and a little salt and a little pepper. So that's my mashed potatoes. I need two cups of that. Uh, a half a cup of the french fried onions and then it's a package of puff puff pastries and this recipe uh you put line a thing with parchment paper and you cook it on there the other one called for the muffin tin so i've already pre-greased that but we'll get into that later so let's get with our mashed potatoes to the mashed potatoes you're going to add half a cup of french fried onions even at that half a cup. Mm. And because I don't need the whole feta for the next recipe, I'm gonna add some feta cheese to that as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a quarter cup of the feta. If you don't like feta, I'm sure you can use any other cheese. I could have used the cheddar, but you know, I figure feta is a little fancier. Okay, so now we're just gonna try and gently stir this up. I should have used my bigger pot, but that doesn't, that doesn't want to work, so we'll actually just use our spoon. Okay, I might have want to should have heated these up after making these. I let them sit for a little bit, but this is usually where, yeah, I regret not using a bigger bowl. Oddly enough, <laughs> this smells good. I just want to kind of mix that up good. All right, I am making a mess mm, but messy things are usually the best ones all right so I'm just gonna set this aside and now I am going to cut into 12 even pieces this ought to be the most interesting part let's grab my first one Although maybe it's not so bad because it comes kind of divided in the three. Six and six. Yeah. Okay. Maybe cutting it 12 equal pieces won't be that bad. All right. Mine still aren't. Mine aren't that even, but I think it's going to be good. Seems like a lot of puff pastry, but all right, let's now again. This is the one with the lined parchment paper. Oh, I might need a uh, might need a second tray for these bad boys, so I may have to cook them one at a time. Okay, well, let's try. And that says put 
a tablespoon of the mixture into the middle of each one. Probably putting more than a tablespoon in, but okay. And then you pinch the corners together. Pinchy, pinchy, oops, pinchy, pinchy, okay. Oh, how cute, yes, but I am definitely gonna need a second tray. All right, I will join you back here when I am done filling these to move on to the next. Okay, once I actually made them, I was able to fit them on a tray, so here are our potato ones. Oops, and that one's coming nice untucked. All right, we'll put these aside to stick in. So we time everything at the same time. Okay, recipe number two. Again, calls for two sheets of puff pastry. This one calls for eight ounces of cream cheese softened, half a cup of sour cream, which I'm going to use my non-fat Greek yogurt, a quarter cup sweet onion finely diced, clove of garlic minced, three quarter cup feta cheese, three quarter cup cheddar cheese, two cups frozen baby spinach thawed and drained. I actually just used the frozen chopped spinach, salt and pepper to taste. It says kosher salt and pinch of red pepper flake. So it says to grease the 12 cup muffin pan with butter or cooking spray. Again, I have the cooking spray that has the flour in it. Um, and then we're gonna combine the cream cheese and sour cream in a it says the bowl of an electric mixer with a paddle attachment now i don't have that so we're just gonna uh hand mix and see how it goes it says beat until creamy so this ought to be uh this ought to be an adventure soft the cream cheese is mm. uh, yeah I gotta get out the end mixer I'll be right back when this is uh, beaten till creamy okay that looks kind of creamy to me the next step is to add an egg and beat again and it says the other egg will be used later and I'm wondering if that's like an egg wash to keep them together the other ones are looking pretty good so far so Add the egg and beat. Okay, and here's what that looks like. And then it says the next step is in a skillet, you melt butter and you cook the onion until it softens. Then you add chicken and it's a cup and a half of chicken. You cook that until th brown thoroughly. Now I bought rotisserie chicken and kind of finely diced it and I actually I cooked all of this together but they have the different steps of cooking the onion then the chicken then adding the garlic then you remove the chicken and shred it and then you fold this into this mixture then you're going to add the feta and the cheddar and after that you're going to add the spinach I cooked the spinach with the onion and the chicken so six or half a dozen the other right all right, so now I'm gonna fold this in. Now I'm gonna fold this in. Okay, my fold's more of a dump and then I'll, I'll fold after that. Again, this looks like I'm gonna have much more than it's gonna need to fill. This might go good, maybe an omelet filling later. Okay, let's fold it in. Yeah. And as usual, I will link the two recipes I'm using below. Because um, the, the recipe I'm using now 
the woman had a funny story about how a family member said they didn't like spinach, but they loved these hors d'oeuvres. So perchance this is a good way to get veggies into people that don't like veggies. Okay, so now I am going to add in the feta and cheddar. And it also says season with salt and pepper to taste. So what did I say it was? Three quarter cup of each. All right, three quarter cup of that. Three quarter cup of that. Hit it with a little pepper, a little salt. And we'll mix this bad boy up. Okay, it was looking a little bit more liquidly. Now with the rest of the cheese, it is kind of firming itself up. Okay, it's looking pretty good. All right, now we're gonna cut this into nine even square. This makes, well, this says it makes 18. So since I'm using just the 12, I'm gonna cut into 12. I'm just gonna make 12 of each. Okay, yep, uh, put them in the pan, press down the center, hang over, blah, blah, blah. Yep, beat the remaining egg and use it to lightly brush them with an egg wash. I'm very good at egg washes. All right, but let's get this out and our puff pastry again. Pat it in, hangs over. I got this. I almost feel like we can, oh, into that one. And then as before, you fold them and lightly press. It's a little bit easier in the muffin tin. Okay. And just as before, I will join back here when I am done filling the tray. All right. And here are my modified ones and I am, I'm lazing out. I'm not doing, I'm not doing the egg wash. Um, so the next step is to put these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes. I'll see you back here in 20 to 25 minutes. Okay, I, I kind of lost track of time, so I'm pretty sure it's been about 20 to 25 minutes. And I did just open a check on them. I'm going to take them out now. The second recipe says to let it cool for 10 minutes before you pop them out of the muffin tin. So let's take them out. Um, when I did peek at them, they are ginormous. So once again, my appetizers aren't the little bite-sized ones that Dean just pops into his mouth. But they look and smell pretty good. So let's get these out of the oven. So especially... More so the first ones I made, they opened up a little bit and they're ginormous, but they look really good. So um, I'll be back in about 10, 10 minutes or so while these cool a little bit. All right, it's been about 10 minutes-ish and I'm hungry. So let's, uh, let's plate these bad boys. I'm just gonna plate because that does kind of look like uh, what Dean pulled. Again, they're a little bit bigger. So if I ever made these again and I was actually trying to make appetizers, I probably would try and make them a little bit smaller and then I'd probably use more of the filling too. Okay, and I'm feeling using the muffin tin because they did stay more closed. However, I think the ones on the parchment paper look more like the actual appetizer. So let's uh, famous taste test. Oh, that's good. Now for the other one. Oh, those are really good as well. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm, very good, very good. And I 
haven't had anything to eat yet today, so I'm probably just going to graze on these the rest of the day. Once again, I am hugely happy with the recipes that I've picked to make. And again, I probably will make them again sometime, whether it's just for me having a craving for an appetizer or perhaps a party if the opportunity arises. So thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun making these appetizers. And next time on Supernatural Eats, we are finally up to pig in a poke. So I'll probably be doing that next month to correspond with Mother's Day in case, you know, you want to make your mom a nice uh, brunch. What's better than pig in a poke and a side of bacon? Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe. Until next time. So much for having everything ready to go. This is usually where, yeah, I regret not using a bigger bowl.